Welcome to the May 29th, 2017 edition of Alan Mayer's review of SmackDown Live. So the show starts off really strong. They show um, the Kevin Owens highlight reel since they've taken it from Jericho. He's out there. Um, he brings out his guest Nakamura, which I, I've talked about this a lot. I am not a fan of. I, I'm a huge fan of Nakamura. I'm not a fan of Nakamura being on TV every week and being featured like everyone else. I really feel like uh, Nakamura needs to be a special attraction and only be seen every few weeks, every couple weeks, and then he only wrestles on pay reviews. I really, really like think Nakamura should just be the special attraction like Brock is or what Cena has become in ways. I really think he should just be something like that. And I don't think we should be seeing him too much. I think he's, he faces the fear of overexposure. So they go in and uh, Nakamura talks. He doesn't want to see him talk too much. It doesn't work well. Um, Baron Corbin comes out and Baron Corbin is terrible. He's a terrible promo. He has a fucking the worst hairline in the, in the history of the world. And um, Corbin has the worst hairline. It, it's so distracting. It's just horrific. It's like he has the Hulk Hogan hairline. He comes out and then um, him and Owens, they a confrontation happens. They, double, they beat up Nakamura. Sami Zayn makes a save, which I'm not a fan of. I don't think Sam's name should have been on TV for a while. He should have been out for at least until until the pay review. He just went out on a stretch. When you do a stretcher job, you come back automatically. Especially since it was a head, you know, he got hit in the head really a whole bunch of times. And uh, so he's oh, and they'd make a tag match, and they have the tag match, and the tag match is a good match. Um, it was good. Uh, Nakamura again is protected for right now. I just don't like how he wrestles every week now. He's just like everyone else. That kind of sucks, but. Um, him and Zayn got the win in a good match. To finish, saw uh, Baron Corbin and Kevin Owens kind of turn on each other. Corbin took a shot at Owens. He dropped him. Zayn came back and uh, took Corbin to the outside. And then uh, Nakamura pinned Owens for the second consecutive week. So I guess that automa- that should mean we're going to see Kevin Owens and uh, Nakamura soon. Maybe at the July show and maybe SummerSlam. Maybe we see Nakamura win the belt at SummerSlam. That'd be really cool for him to win the U.S. belt. So I'm automatically... And... Uh, Again, Nakamura got the win, and uh, we're looking forward to the match he eventually has with Owens. It's kind of awkward. I'm seeing on the commercials. I saw this hair transplant commercial. Maybe someone can show that to Baron Corbin. So he desperately needs it. It's the worst hairline ever. Um, they show AJ Styles in the back. He's decked out in red gear since, you know, it's Atlanta. He's from Atlanta. That represents the Atlanta Falcons. Um, and him and Ziggler is the main event. And I thought the main event would be the woman, and because they showed the woman early on the show, they showed Charlotte, Carmella, Natalia, Becky, and um, Tamina all cut up promos before the show starts, right before the video packages, uh, kind of like sa- sa- Saturday's main event, right before the opening. So I thought that would be the main event, but that, that's actually not going to be the main event. The AJ and, Z- and uh, Ziggler will. After that, Usos come out. Um, you can all tell it's New Day returning. New Day comes out, gets a big pop. Uh, before that, Usos made a. They took a shot at the Falcons for losing to the Patriots after they blew the twenty-eight to three lead in the Super Bowl. So had to get that one in. Um, Usos come out, or uh, New, New Day comes out. They get a decent reaction. Uh, so it's New Day and Usos automatically at Money in the Bank for the tag belt. So they didn't waste much time at all getting going to that match already. Uh, not really uh, wasting any time there. And that's fine. I'm sure they'll have a good match. Um, I, I did like the fashion place. I kind of wish they would have won the tag belts at Backlash, but it is what it is. So then they go to a, they show a recap of last week of General Hall's title celebration. Hopefully he's not on the show because this show has actually been really good. really enjoying it so far. Um, and then after that, they go, uh, they show our fashion police. I don't know what they're doing now. I think that gimmick's kind of dead. They really should have won the belts. Um, and now we are at the um, women's Fight 5 way elimination match. I'm thinking um, maybe this is a no contest leads to the Money in the Bank match, a Women's Money in the Bank that's been rumored. We'll see what happens here. So they all come out. They have a brawl, and they really make it a point to show that the referee never rang the bell, so it's a match for the bell. And they actually thought, to be honest, I loved this. I thought this was great. They all beat the hell out of each other. He had Shirt doing her signature moonsault. He had Becky and Carmella battling in the crowd. Um, you had... Uh, some step spots, uh, they threw each other into the steps, threw each other into the ring post. Uh, you know, 
just beat up each other. All five of them beat the shit out of each other. I really liked it. And of course, the big part at the end was you even had to take a announcer table spot. You know, Charlotte power bombs Natalia through the announcer table. That was really cool. And uh, this was actually just, I thought this was a really well done segment. I really enjoyed it. They all beat the crap out of each other. You know, all there's bodies everywhere. This was cool carnage. So it, it sets up really well. Uh, she McMahon comes out and he announces that they are going to do the first ever five way women's Money in the Bank ladder match at Money in the Bank. So I'm excited for that. I'm looking forward to that match a lot now. And I'm really deserving to dig this pay per view. SmackDown's awesome. I'm really enjoying the show so far. And um, it, it's doing really well. And of course, you have AJ Styles and Dolph Ziggler still to come. And I thought this was well done. Um, the women's match was at Money in the Bank ladder match. I thought be, I, I actually thought it might be a six way when they just, they just have Naomi defend the belt, but it's a Money in the Bank match, and uh, I'm I'm looking forward to that. So uh, nah, this show is really killing it right now. I'm really enjoying it. They're gonna have Randy Orton uh, respond, and they also show that up next is uh, a jobber match. It's Brizongo against. Um, who are the colognes? Fucking colognes. Why are these guys haven't been fired yet? No, it's my phone. What? Oh, sorry for that. There's a problem with my recording. I thought I lost the video for a second. But, um, they're still in the beginning of the tag match. Nothing's really happening much. A uh, bit of a throwaway match. They did that stupid grandpa gimmick again, or the janitor gimmick. Um,. Brizongo got the one. He uses Christians on Twitter now. I don't know what that's about, but Brizongo won. Um, yeah, I don't know. They didn't really care much for that. The first thing I really didn't like on the show, then uh, they went to a backstage segment with AJ Styles and Dolph Ziggler. They had a nice back and forth. Uh, that's the main event. Um, it was fine for, uh, you know, a decent promo to hype up the match. Or in his out for a promo, he's going to respond to Mahal. I thought it was just going to be a quick backstage interview, but it's actually a promo. Orin comes out, he cuts a promo, he um he really talks a lot about his grandfather who passed away, um, you know, the father of Cowboy Bob Orin. So it was it was okay. Then he had Ma uh Jenner Mahal interrupt him uh on the Titan Tron and uh he cut it wasn't really much of a promo. The one thing I know is Jenner Mahal can barely talk. It's like he's talking so loud or so deep that like he can barely hear what comes out of his mouth sometimes. I don't know, maybe it's all the steroid he's been taking. His voice is extremely deep. So really, um, yeah, it just wasn't much of a... It was fine for what it was. Now, uh, finally, we get to see the main event, which is AJ Styles and Dolph Ziggler. So when they get back from uh, commercial, first they show uh, Sasha Banks and Rich Swan hyping up the show. I mean, Sasha, they have killed this poor girl. This poor girl is done. I don't know. I mean, I don't want to answer her rant, but Sasha, man, they have killed her. Then they show uh, Dolph Ziggler come out, and they actually showed highlights of when he won the money in the bank in 2012. And uh, I thought it was funny because they showed it, and then they showed it when he won the title from Alberto Del Rio. So we actually see an Alberto Del Rio reference on WWE TV. I'm sure, I'm sure Triple H was absolutely thrilled about that. Um, then main event starts. Ziggler comes out, and AJ comes out. And, uh, of course, AJ is wearing that red Atlanta Falcons gear, so... He's all red tonight. Um, we'll see. Uh, they, they don't have as much time as I thought they would. I don't know if they can really tear the host out of this match, but it'll probably be a fun match and a fun main event. One thing I've noticed while watching SmackDown is uh, Money in the Bank is not for another three weeks, but even though it's not for another three weeks, I'm so much more excited for that Money in the Bank show than I am for Extreme Rules. I have zero, zero excitement for Extreme Rules. I don't give a fuck about that show. But I'm actually really excited for Money in the Bank, but... That's not for another three weeks, and that's a good thing. A uh, good thing for Money in the Bank and a terrible thing for Extreme Rules. Just shows how much better SmackDown is than Raw. Styles and Ziggler, um, they're having a decent match. They tease the Styles Clash from the top rope. They couldn't do that, but, uh, you know, the, the match is uh, it's pretty good. I just wish they had a little bit more time so they can absolutely tear it up. They actually had Ziggler beat uh, Styles. I mean, they had Styles have his feet on the ropes. So, uh, I mean, that's going to set up a match for next week. They obviously pl- uh, they played that up a bit. How he had his foot on the rope. Um, oh, man. They actually had Z- Ziggler win, for fuck's sake. That's so fucking dumb. Ugh. I mean, you have to be a babyface in their hometown. Babyfaces always have to lose in their hometown. That's a rumor on WWE. Always beat the faces in their hometown. That's so fucking annoying. And that hurt the show. I thought this was a great show. Turned to a good show. Still enjoyed SmackDown. Love it a lot more than Raw. 
uh, can watch SmackDown every week. Uh, I never really get bored. Really. Always has a decent pace to it. That ending, man, that sucked. That was fucking stupid. Ugh. I don't even know what they're doing. Just, I mean, he protected AJ. He didn't really lose. He had his feet on the rope, but, ugh, that whole beating the face in their hometown is the most annoying fucking thing. I swear. Just, ugh. Dumbest shit ever. Beating, you have to beat their face in their hometown. It's a WWE rule. Baby faces always lose in their hometown. So, of course, tonight was no exception. <laughs>